Soy contains five anti-aging substances, including one that could reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease and the consequences of menopause while offering protection against certain hormone-related cancers such as breast cancer and prostate cancer. The first anti-aging substance is soy protein, which guarantees in-depth nutrition and cellular regeneration. Soy or soya is considered the best plant-based source of complete protein. Soy protein contains all of the essential amino acids in optimal ratios and in a highly digestible form. The second anti-aging substance in soy is zinc. Zinc is often referred to as a trace element of beauty. At the cutaneous level, zinc participates in the regulation of sebum secretion and skin repair mechanisms. It is a powerful antioxidant that helps prevent premature cellular aging by ensuring cell growth and division, healthy eyes, skin, hair and nails. Furthermore, zinc is essential for fertility and the proper functioning of the immune system. The third anti-aging substance in soy is magnesium. Magnesium is called an anti-stress mineral because it has relaxing effects on the entire body, including on the skin by protecting it against the oxidative stress imposed on your cells by free radicals. Free radicals are unstable molecules that age the skin resulting from pollution, sun exposure, tobacco, and alcohol. The fourth anti-aging substance in soy are the essential fatty acids omega-3 and omega-6. Omega-3 and omega-6 provide essential nutrients to prevent hair loss, and promote hair growth. In addition, these two fatty acids restore and protect the skin's natural moisture barrier. Before revealing the fifth substance, let me address the issue of menopause. Menopause usually occurs between the ages of 48 and 52. On the aesthetic level, regarding the silhouette, menopause is associated with various changes in body composition, including a decrease in bone density and muscle mass as well as an accumulation of fat mass in the abdomen. Regarding the skin, the skin is weakened by hormonal changes, it dries out, loses its density and radiance. Menopause can also lead to hair loss, unwanted facial hair growth, vaginal dryness, night sweats, sleep problems, memory loss, mood swings, and especially hot flashes or hot flushes. All those unpleasant consequences of menopause are due to the drop in estrogen. The good news is that soy is a plant with a high isoflavin content. Isoflavins are the fifth anti-aging substance as soy isoflavins are the main source of phytoestrogens. Phytoestrogens are biologically active substances of a vegetable origin that imitate the action of the female hormone estrogen. Consequently, these substances of plant origin whose chemical structure is related to that of the female hormone estrogen help to restore hormonal balance and well-being in women. Some doctors prescribe a low dose of estrogen needed to relieve menopausal symptoms like osteoporosis. However, hormone replacement therapy prescribed to postmenopausal women is still debated among healthcare providers because of its potentially dangerous side effects. 
Hence the interest in phytoestrogens, a safer alternative to hormonal therapy since the term phyto means derived from a plant, and the term phytoestrogen means that these substances display structural similarities to the estrogens produced within the body and potentiate their effects. Phytoestrogens have high antioxidant activity that can prevent cardiovascular disease, osteoporosis, and even certain types of cancer. By the way, prostate cancer is the most common cancer in men, while breast cancer is the most common cancer in women. However, within population groups consuming a lot of soy and therefore following a diet rich in phytoestrogens, men suffer less often from prostate cancer and breast cancer occurs less often in women. Isoflavones, also called phytoestrogens, estrogens found naturally in the plant kingdom, therefore seem to have an anti-carcinogenic effect on both prostate cancer and breast cancer. <laughs>